Shalom, shalom. Shalom, Yasharala. Yeah, this is the brother Nathan. This is the brother Bana. And we're coming at you with a joint lesson through the spirit, power, blessings, and grace of Yahweh Bashim El Shai. Let's bring out a quick hitter. So, uh, Lord willing, that this lesson will be edifying, exhorting, comforting to the hopeful elect of Israel. But as always, first and foremost, we want to start this lesson off by giving all honor, glory, and praises unto our power. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakak Wadash. We'd like to give double honors to the head apostles, to the elders, bishops, teachers of the great millstone, GMS, who rule well and teach well across the four winds with sound doctrine, to the like-minded brothers, the Akim who are under the umbrella, pushing this truth and sincerity all in one accord across the four winds, risking their lives and freedoms to do so. Shalom. That's right. Shalom. Peace be unto you, brothers. Yahweh Bashim Yoshai, Barak Thumb. To all the hopeful elect, the Akim and Aqua out there pushing and seeking salvation in these dire days. That's right. Shalom. So we want to dive into the book of wisdom of Solomon, chapter 8. Start off at verse 17. Now, again, Solomon, King Solomon, okay, being the wisest man to the wisest king to ever walk the earth, okay, and also being through the reincarnation, being the spirit of Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, okay, so the first spirit ever created, okay. So, we want to go into this uh, wisdom of Solomon, chapter 8, verse 17. As, is, as in these latter days, you know, these perilous times, these troublesome times, these evil times, okay, as we approach, you know, the latter end you know, of this time period, this earth, okay, we want to continuously walk circumspectly and walk with wisdom. Right, so, uh, yeah, we, we need to continue to use wisdom and, and filter things through the scripture and through the spirit as we continue to try to walk uprightly on that straight and narrow path here in these latter days. Wisdom of Solomon 8 and 17. Now when I considered these things in myself, I pondered them in my heart, how that to be allied unto wisdom is immortality. That's right. So be to be allied, right? To have it as a defense, if you will, right? The hedge of protection from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And this, that this is a gift, man. You know, this is a gift to be given the breath of life, to be quickened, to be made alive, okay? And to be, you know, reborn washed through the word okay the sincere milk of the word through these living waters mm -hmm. okay it said out of his belly shall flow living water so mm -hmm. that, that flow has to be consistent you have to be continually walking in, in wisdom walking in the spirit being this word being this truth mm -hmm. you know but walking in the holy spirit man. Mm -hmm. that's right because we're seeking to be made joint heirs in the kingdom to come we're seeking salvation you know, as the scripture said, there will be some men that do not see death. All right, so we're trying to be of that hopeful number, that elect number. Okay. So uh, I got a quick um, precept here from uh, Proverbs 3. Okay. And uh, we can go ahead and start at the top there. And uh, this reads, uh, My son, forget not my law, but let thine heart keep my commandments so that heart also going into the mind and keeping the commandments of Yahweh and it says for length of days and long life and peace shall they add to thee and that's right man those things being written for for our betterment you know to lead us unto to life mm -hmm. and it says uh, let uh, and you can even liken unto that as, uh, you know, for the length of uh, days, long life, and peace. So that peace part, you know, uh, what does it say? A uh, soft answer turneth uh, wrath away, mm -hmm. turneth away wrath. So us just walking in this wisdom, walking uh, circumspectly, you know, it's able to even make our enemies at peace with us. Mm -hmm. Salakia, yeah, this computer's tripping right now. Uh, this is uh, Proverbs 3 and 3. Let not mercy and truth forsake thee. And it has been the Most High, Yahweh Bashim Yahushua's great mercy unto us to give us this word, to give us the Holy Spirit to receive it. So we have to continually pray that the Spirit does not leave us. So we let not mercy and truth forsake thee. Bind them about bind them about thy neck write them upon the table of thine heart that's right man so we have to 
continually keep these uh, words, you know, close to us, bind them around thy neck, never letting them go, man. Let no man take thy crown, as the scriptures say in the book of Revelations. But it says, write them upon the table of thine heart. So, you know, really having these uh, scriptures embedded in us, man, written in our minds to where we can, you know, remember these words without having to read them. We, we constantly, you know, uh, are memorizing certain uh, verses, precepts, you know, as much as we can, basically. But we have to remember them and live by them, live by these words, man. Mm -hmm. And uh, to take them about our neck, right? So we, we have to carry this, you know, and, and also as this, the scriptures go into is, is uh, carrying our cross, you know, we have mm -hmm. to we have to bear our cross daily. Okay. And that's part of putting that, uh, putting that, you know, upon ourselves, you know, putting that weight on our shoulders. That's right. It says, uh, so shalt thou find favor and good understanding in the sight of the most high and man. So we want to find good favor of Yahweh by serving him in truth and sincerity, man. And uh, even am amongst the brethren, you know, the Akim and the Akwath, you know, uh, praying over each other and uh, really, uh, you know, embracing one another in this truth, you know, encouraging each other to do as best as we can in the sight of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Mm -hmm. That's right. But thou shalt find favor and good understanding by seeking these things, by seeking the Lord ten times more. By drawing nigh unto the Lord, as the scriptures say, he will draw nigh unto you. And uh, we continue here in Proverbs 3 and 5. Trust in the Adawan, Yahweh Basham Yahushai, with all thine heart, and le lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. So this, this truth, the Holy Spirit being a, a lamp, you know, among our steps, you know, a light upon our path. He's going to uh, direct it to man's steps. And we want to be in good favor of the Lord. So, so he directs us into a path of mercy and unto salvation, man. So we, we trust in the Lord and his word, not our own understanding. We know that the heart is deceitful above all things, man. So we need to continually seek the the word of the Adawan and seek the counsel thereof, man. So, in all thy ways, acknowledge him. Mm -hmm. So, there's no room for for us in what we want and what we think. It has to be according to the Lord's will. Mm -hmm. That's right, especially here in these latter days, That's approaching right. the hour of temptation, approaching Jacob's trouble, so on and so forth. You know, times are going to get very uh, trying, okay, troublesome. Perilous times, dangerous times, and we're gonna need to trust in Adawani Halbashim Shai to endure, Lord willing. Because again, we cannot trust in our own understanding and, and the things that we're gonna see, you know, and, and things that are gonna befall the earth. Okay, here in Babylon, America, in particular. Okay, we have to be wet or ready, and that build built up in the spirit. Therefore, we must trust in the wisdom of Adawani Halbashim Shai, that gift that there that is wisdom. And that starts with the fear of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Go back to Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 8, and verse 18. And it says, And great pleasure it is to have her friendship, and in the works of her hands are infinite riches, and in the exercise of conference with her prudence, and in talking with her a good report. I went about seeking how to take her to me, right? So it's good, you know, uh, what does the scripture say? Um, you know, I have shown you these things because I call you my friends, roughly paraphrasing, you know, that we are made friends, right? As Abraham, our forefather, was made a friend unto the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shai. okay? Therefore, we are seeking to be considered friends of Adwan Yahweh Wa Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. That's right. Yahweh Shai telling the disciples that, you know, a servant knoweth not what his master doth, but I tell you these things because I call you my friends. 
got to prepare for you like the water. That's yeah. it, man. So, you know, we have been shown this truth through the power of Yahweh Yashai, through the Holy Spirit. Therefore, we must not forsake this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, and we must use it, apply it, okay? As we attempt to teach it, we must very much apply it and constantly examine ourselves and, and walk circumspectly here in these latter days. It says, and in the works of her hands are infinite riches, right? So infinite riches, that everlasting immortality, once again, in the kingdom to come, okay? And then scriptures also go into that, you know, about asking, asking you shall receive, you know, in, in, in my name, after paraphrasing, you know? So yeah, Bob, Shah, why don't you uh, go ahead and jump over to uh, Proverbs 4 and verse 3. You can start there. You know, and this is, uh, you know, what made me think of that. Uh, you know, that she will pretty much all the benefits that come with wisdom, huh? And uh, that starts at uh, Proverbs 4 and 3. For I was my father's son, tender and only beloved in the sight of my mother. So that's speaking of uh, King Solomon, who uh, wrote Proverbs, you know, being the son of King David. That's right. And then through the Spirit, being the, you know, reincarnate, uh, an incarnation of Yahweh Shai Mashiach in a past life, if, you, if your spirit can receive it. But it says, uh, He taught me also and said unto me, Let thine heart retain my words, keep my commandments, and live. And that's right. And that can also be uh, remembered in the book of uh, Deuteronomy, where, um, you know, Moses was told that, and he shared that with the, uh, with the Israelites, you know, keep the commandments and, and, and live. And I believe the Most High, Yahweh also said, uh, uh, choose life, choose life. That's, uh, I believe that could be one of the last chapters, maybe Deuteronomy 30. Um, but it says, uh, continue here. So just uh, to land back off that, it's like if you're interrupting. Yeah, you know, and also as King Solomon had written, you know, roughly paraphrased and says, let's hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Keep the commandments. Uh, so like, yeah, this is Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. It says, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the Most High and keep his commandments for this is the whole duty of man. That's right. So this is our, our duty, all right, as Israel had men, okay? to keep the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of our ability here in this modern-day captivity and here in this, this susceptible, wicked flesh. Because, you know, when we will not be perfect in this flesh, we must still, and you know, attempt to attain that perfection to the very best of our ability. Okay? So knowingly, to the best of our ability, not going off. Okay? Not, going, not transgressing. Not committing iniquity. Sin upon sin. Um, this is um, Proverbs 4 and verse 5. It says, Get wisdom, get understanding, forget it not, neither decline from the words of my mouth. And that's right. We, we pray to never stray from the Adawan. That's why we have to continually abound in this word, man. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. Get wisdom, get understanding, right? So... It is our due diligence. Well, we must do our due diligence, okay? Uh, and, uh, you know, to seek this word, but also to seek understanding, seek wise counsel. Okay, that starts with the elder apostles of Great Millstone on down, like minded brothers who teach the 100% truth That's right. of the Holy Scriptures in all truth and sincerity, okay? So, seeking wise counsel. Okay? Yeah, and no. that's, uh, you know, according to the book of uh, Isaiah, Prophet Isaiah is saying, you know, uh, the, the Lord saying, uh, I will send the uh, pastures according to mine own heart, mm -hmm. who will lead thee to the right path. Mm, kind of, scriptures also say, how can I learn unless except a man teach me? Mm -hmm. Roughly paraphrasing that. Kind of. you know? so, and then uh, I'm going to continue here with uh, Proverbs 4 and 6. It says, forsake her not, so wisdom, and she shall preserve thee. Love her, and she shall keep thee. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And with all that getting, get understanding. 
-hmm. That's right. So forsaking not the words of Adwan Yahabashi Mehoshai and the gift that is wisdom, right? Okay, and we, we attain or we aim, we intend, we hope, we pray to attain that preservation, especially here in the latter days, because we know what's going to befall the earth, in particular Babylon, America, that great destruction, okay? Famine, sword, the pestilence, okay? Before it's utterly destroyed. So we aim for that. You know, again, we hope, we pray, and we, we do these, uh, we rehearse the righteous acts, okay? We pray to be of that elect number, to be preserved, to be changed. And it says, love her and she shall keep thee. Right? So what's what's love? What's love in the Heavenly Father? Well, that's keeping the commandments. Okay? She shall keep thee. That wisdom, right? We pray because it again is it a gift that the Heavenly Father can't take right. away. So we need to be loving the, the words of the Adawan, the, the spirit, you know, but loving this wisdom, man. You know, loving doing this work amongst the brethren, loving, you know, being there at camp. Loving doing these lessons, man. Loving being into the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Being close to him. Mm -hmm. Okay. And real quick, Baba Bashar, let me pull this out. Just to, in, in reference to verse 7 here. Pull up the etymology of the word principle. Now, this is principle, the adjective, going to main, principle, chief, dominant, largest, greatest, most important. Also great and large, right? Okay. First in importance. Original, primitive, right? Oh, slack you. So we're going to go back to that. Proverbs 4 and 7. Wisdom is the principal thing. Again, <laughs> the importance, right? The importance of that. The heightened importance of that, okay? Like it so says in Isaiah 33 and 6, that wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. So right. that, that just shows you there the importance of it. It's the most important thing that's going to get you through Jacob's trouble and, and endure these latter days, mm -hmm. along with the, you know, the grace of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh God. And as uh, recently, you know, Elder Kazak out of the GMS Mississippi camp went into, uh, you know, that particular verse, okay, um, and stability in that verse also goes into faith. Mm -hmm. So wisdom and knowledge should be the faith, the stability. Mm -hmm. of that time right. not only reading these words but believing wholeheartedly bro mm -hmm. that's right so wisdom is the principal thing therefore get wisdom and with all that getting get understanding right so again it's not just getting attaining wisdom and being blessed with the gift thereof no but is also understanding okay again being studious and being mm -hmm. diligent and prudent devoting yeah. yourself and those two things go together one can't be without the other in order to have wisdom you have to have the understanding that's right just as was written in the book of james you know faith and works okay the importance of having them both and and, and having balance you know that that can uh, you know contribute to uh you know increasing your faith and and, and your hope and, and belief and, and ultimately you know, again, we uh, rehearse these righteous acts and so on and so forth. We we, we look to uh, prove ourselves to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh to make our calling and election sure. Yeah, I'm going to continue here at the Proverbs 4 and 8. Exalt her and she shall promote thee. She shall bring thee to honor when thou dost embrace her. So that's right. We have to put this wisdom and of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, this truth above all things, man. Above everything. We have to deny ourselves, deny everything else, except this uh, truth, man, and fighting for that, for our crown, man, for that salvation. Mm -hmm. And that, that promote, she shall promote thee. What are we looking for, man? We're looking to be given that new name, that new rank. That's a promotion, man. That rank being crowned as one of the elect. That's what we're all striving for. And I'm um, we'll continue here with uh, Proverbs 4 and 9. She shall give to thine hand, head an ornament of grace, a crown of glory. She shall deliver to thee. So that ornament of grace, man, being, uh, you know, that thawah, that spiritual mark of exemption from judgment, and that crown that we're seeking, man, being crowned by Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach, 
you know, as it was written in the uh, second Ezra, uh, second chapter, I believe. Mm-hmm. That's so, right. That's yeah, right, man. Man, it was taller. His statue was taller than the rest. You know. Mm-hmm. That's right, man. Yeah, yeah man. That, that him vision. giving crowns to those who, uh, you know, were made white, uh, clothed with white garments. So that's what we're seeking, and uh, you know that crown of glory, being also that you know that knowledge, this wisdom, man. That's why, again, the Book of Revelation says, "Let no man take that crown." So this wisdom, this understanding, this faith. Yeah, go ahead. Huh? Yeah, that's right. So I'm gonna flip back to uh, Wisdom Solomon chapter eight and verse nineteen, which reads. For I was a witty child and had a good spirit. Yea, rather being good, I came into a body undefiled. Nevertheless, when I perceived that I could not otherwise obtain her, except the Most High gave her me, and that was a point of wisdom also to know whose gift she was. Oh, man. That's right, man. So the Most High, he's given this thing as a gift unto us, man the Holy Spirit to receive this truth, you know, it was not of our own doing. It was Yahweh Basha Yahushai. That's right. And that was a point of wisdom also to know whose gift she was. So truly understanding that wisdom is a gift that can be taken back by the Heavenly Father, that is a point of wisdom. That That is also, you know, ties into the fear of the Heavenly Father, right? The fear of having that wisdom removed, man, taken away from you, the spirit. Uh, uh, so that, that uh, brings me to uh, John 15 and 16. That uh, says, uh, "Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you, and ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit, and that your fruit should remain. That whatsoever you shall ask of the Father in my name, He may give it to you." And we have to continually ask for more in- increase in the spirit and this understanding, man. Mm-hmm. That's right. Beautiful. But point being there is how about Shimei Al-Shai has chosen us and ordained us that we should receive this understanding, this wisdom, and go and increase upon that, right? Mm-hmm. That's right. So again, it's truly wisdom to understand that, that wisdom is a gift. Okay? That's a point of wisdom. But we'll continue on here. Wisdom of Solomon 8 and 21, which reads, the back end of the verse reads, I prayed unto the Adawan, the Lord, and besought him, right? So when you beseech, you beg. So I, be, I besought him, and with my whole heart I said, and this is beautiful, it ties right into the next chapter, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 9 and 1, O power of my fathers and Lord of mercy, who hast made all things with thy word, right? So who's the word? Hey, that's how much Yaki Hawashai. The spirit of, of Yahweh Shai. Okay? That's right. They're pursuing uh, John, the first chapter. Mm-hmm. Right, man. That's right. So it says, in the Lord of mercy, right? Because as the scriptures also read, the Lord's mercy endureth forever. Wisdom of Solomon 9 and 2. And ordained man through thy wisdom that he should have dominion over the creatures which thou hast made. Right, because again, we were, that's how you know things were ordained right. in the beginning. Ordaining uh, Adam to have power over the creatures, dominion, mm-hmm. and he even uh, named them. Mm-hmm. That's right. And verse three, and order the world according to equity and righteousness, and execute judgment with an upright heart. Right. So of course Solomon, being a wise man, what did he pray for? Okay, when he first was was given, you know. Um, you know, that anointing, if you will, okay, after the passing of his father, King David, yeah, he prayed for wisdom to understand how to be a righteous judge amongst such a great people, roughly paraphrasing that scripture, okay? But that is what King Solomon prayed for, was wisdom. And that's why he was given much more than than solely than just wisdom. But he was giving all the increase that, that he was by the Heavenly Father. Right. And Shai. he wanted that wisdom to be a, a, able to be a righteous king over the nation of Israel. That's right. To lead it, the people in the right path. Mm-hmm. That's right. And uh, you can see that through many different um, examples, but one that comes to mind is Elisha. 
you know, when Elijah was translated, he asked and prayed for uh, a double portion of Elijah's spirit. Mm -hmm. And that's the importance of, you know, seeking the, the spirit and increasing the spirit and of this wisdom and understanding. Mm -hmm. That's right. So we'll continue on here. In the Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 9 and verse 3. It says, Give me wisdom that sitteth by thy throne, and reject me not from among thy children. Because right, again, wisdom being the gift of the Heavenly Father, y'all, Bashem Yom Shai. That's right. And we pray to be of thy elect memory. Mm -hmm. That's right. Verse 5 For I, thy servant and son of thine handmaid, am a feeble person. All right, so going into weak, okay, without the strength, without the wisdom of y'all, Bashem Yom Shai. It says, And for a short time, and too young for the understanding of judgment and laws. For though a man be never so perfect among the children of men, yet if thy wisdom be not with him, he shall be nothing regarded. That's right, man. So, you know, without, without this wisdom, without this true wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, without the Holy Spirit, we are, we are nothing to be regarded, man. We are regarded as nothing, man, you know. We are princes of the power, yet without this, this true wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, without this truth, without the Holy Spirit, okay, we are not held in the same regard. That's right. You know, so therefore we, we, uh, we aim, again, we intend, we pray, okay, we beseech the Heavenly Father, we beg that the, that the Holy Spirit be with us and our brethren, like-minded brothers, starting with the elder apostles of Great Millstone on down, like-minded brothers and the Hakim and Akwath of Yasharala, the believers and followers of this faith and of this 100% truth, this doctrine. That's right. And that's why we, we've been given a, a small portion of the Spirit, and we're seeking to continually increase that. But we really want to be part of that elect to be granted, you know, that 144% of that Spirit, man. You know, our bodies being changed, given that new ranking, man, to be having... Uh, you know, the spirit and the word written in us, man. You know, the law, statutes, and commandments written in our inward parts, as the scriptures say. But, you know, that's why even the apostle uh, Paul, you know, stated, who shall deliver me from this uh, wretched body of death? Mm -hmm. So right. we want to be uh, part of that elect number, man. And, uh, you know, being, being uh, you know, given the, the ultimate portion of wisdom and the spirit, man. Mm -hmm. That's right, because again, yeah, verse 6, for though a man be never so perfect among the children of men, right? So these defiled bodies, these chains of darkness, okay, we are subject to sin, mm -hmm. okay? And they are we're susceptible to sin here in our modern-day captivity here in this flesh, here in Babylon, America, and all throughout the four winds. So therefore, we must pray for wisdom and, and continuously beseech the Heavenly Father that it depart not from us, pursuant to Psalm 51. We pray for that Holy Spirit to stay with us. So, that's right. Uh, you got anything else, huh? That's good, brother. That's it. So, uh, Lord willing, through the Spirit, this has been uh, edifying to the hopefully elect and comforting. As always, we want to close out by giving all honor, glory, and praises unto our power. Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, And once again, double honors to our elder apostles, bishops of Great Millstone, who rule well and teach well. Shalom to all the like minded Akim, laboring in this truth with sincerity, pushing this word across all four winds. Peace be unto you and your households. Shalom to the hopefully elect, the tabernacle of David, the Akim and the Aqua, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Barakatam, keep pushing. And we throw a curse upon this place. Abad Babal, Abad Babal, DTA, soon. Kwam Yasharala. Kwam Yasharala. And Adaman Ratiza, you know, pray for them fewer days that we can seek that salvation soon. That's right. Haste in the day. Haste in the day. Mm -hmm. That's, That's right. right. Shalom. Shalom.